Hello everyone and welcome back to this EU4 Moogles campaign where we are uh, probably just going to do mainly chilling in this episode as well. I'd like to catch up a bit on the old tech here. So get uh, modern theocracy out of the way just to get the um, military ID group as well. The question is which one we want to go for here. Not entirely sure. Uh, apart from that, I mean, we are quite a while from... Yeah, Ottomans is not going to get it anytime soon, unfortunately. Tunis is actually almost getting it. Um, you want an alliance, Tunis? No. All right. We'll see about that. Losing great power status. Yeah, 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 game. I know, I know. We'll get it back eventually, don't you worry. The Sikh Rebellions. All right. Oh, shh. calm down. Um, let's lose some legitimacy, I think. Well, we do have the Mavara Separatists, so we kind of need to get you on top of that. Could you spawn in Aymer or Murta? Murta. Okay. Put you, could put you there actually. That should be fine. Truce with Delhi as ender now. Oh my god, there's so many juicy targets which I'd like to attack, but. Um. Yeah, I think we'll go for that one. We don't want to piss off the nobles even more. Not very happy as is, so... No, you cannot be a march. I'm going to feed you more land as soon as it is viable. Ottomans would actually come in here. We call the Ottomans in. Can't do that, unfortunately, but we could call you in. There's a lot of people to beat up, though. We'd mainly be relying on the Ottomans. Uh, Haasa is relatively easy. AQ. I don't know. It is uh, probably the best way to get the war to Transoxiani. Or are you allied to anyone else? Bars and Ajam. Bars is you, which we can't really get to without beating up Ajam first. All right, I don't think it'll be worth it. Um, we still got plenty of time to actually feed the calls back to Timmy, so he can just chill for the time being. Um, we can convert more provinces. Now, I did notice that we actually do have a mission here, Indian Syncretism, which means we need to improve some provinces, so we might actually hold off on converting for now. Just to get that going. That way we'll save a bit of money as well. Because once the war wraps finish. Um, it'll be a bit worse. Can we actually avoid that war? I don't think so. But there are possibly some other ones we can avoid. Um, I think. Let's get some more of those going. We don't want to waste manpower if we can avoid it. Having a few more cannons isn't going to hurt. We're way below the actual um, limit, anyway. Right, Diplo IDs, though. I think that is fine. Push through that one. And we'll have the tech here soon enough. Sang's opinion. I don't care about Sang's opinion. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And yeah, we're going to grab you, and then we are going to pick... Offensive? I mean, we do already get some free land leader. I can't remember whether it was shock or not. So stack it even more. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. Even more land leader shock. And tabulous. Okay, and now we'll get the ideas, finish that off, and uh, yeah, see what we want to do. Still need to fully core these ones at some point. Ugh. So, Delhi. 
Um, can probably go with a level two one. Right, Delhi is allied to Khorasan, Bengal, and Malwa. You were also allied to Malwa. In Jampur now. Uh, Kangra is... Your ally to Jampur and um, Kathmandu, eh? Malwa is uh, ally to a lot of people. No CB against you. You have Vijay. It's a bit tricky. I mean, Jumla would be the best one, I think. Are you being guaranteed by Jampur? I see. All right, government reform. Ooh, we have some special ones here. Mansabdari system enables the nobility estate. Unlock Mansabdari privileges for the nobility estate. War taxes cost minus 5%. Loyalty, Equilibrium, Influence, Monster... So are we going to get nobles as well as these ones? That seems a bit... Riput Military Leadership. Can recruit Riputs. Riput Force Limit Faction, Loyalty, Equilibrium, Influence, Max Privileges. Ah, I don't know what those are, but I like the sound of having special regiments. Yeah, let's see. Right, so how do we recruit the Riputs? Is it on... Not on you, we should remove these um, state privileges though. Riput Infantry, okay, so they are more expensive. Base maintenance is the same as these ones, but they cost more to recruit. They have more morale, cheaper to reinforce, less drill lost. Alright, alright. Get them going. This is still a bit problematic. Right, so a bit of an uh, impasse here of who to attack. Uh, we could do this at least. This is actually a better option. That way we can crush Delhi, but we don't have a CB against you. Okay, we have a way to go. Let's start fabricating on you. Get the claim and then we can go for that one think that is the way to go. Paramashut Uzbek has ended. Um, you're not doing anything, so let's up that straight away. Very nice. Um, who are we not embargoing? Bamanis. There we go. Power projection is still over 50, so all is good. Everyone here is being way too peaceful. I do not approve of that. We could also just attack Jampur straight away. I mean... Vijay might just... 
freaking wreck themselves anyway, but it is certainly an option. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Bomanis has 21k troops. I mean, you should be able to beat them. Seriously, you should be able to do it. And we should... I mean, he's got 40k troops. Which, granted, is a bit scary. But we've got 33k. With two techs ahead of him. Um, I'm not sure what we get for that. Uh, level 9 gives us better troops, better cav. I think we can do it. <clears throat> um, probably should wait for these ones to spawn though. Let's bring you over there or something. Let's see whether we can prompt these ones to spawn and then we'll look at attacking Jean Poor. Okay, great. Crush these ones, please. Good job. Because he probably has more cannons, and cannons aren't particularly useful at this point. Oh, seriously? Who the heck is rebelling now? Surmer. Which is where? There. Okay. I mean... War balance is looking pretty good. Uh, these are all forged though, which is a bit problematic, but I think we'll be fine. Hmm. <clears throat> The heck is Tirhut? Oh, that's you over there. Right, Delhi. You would actually come in against Delhi as well. I kind of like that better. Um, we'll have Coruscant over here, but hopefully you can just deal with that. We can crush Delhi quickly. And then you'll hopefully be distracted down that way. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with this. Education for the poor, um, yes. Let's try and get some innovativeness while we can. Burr it if you didn't lose any troops. Okay. Ah, he's abandoning the siege. Ooh. I mean, okay. That was uh, too good timing to ignore it. Fine, I will spend the admin points. Uh, excuse me, I wanted you to go to the actual port, please. Alright, you have no allies. Excellent stuff. Um, send the cannons over there. Do we have any cannons here as well? We have one. We're shooting there as well. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Cruelty of mercenaries. Gain professionalism. That's fine. You make them a bit more expensive, but I think we're okay. Let's bring you over there. Um, Do you have any siege pips? No. Do we have any siege pips here? No. All right. Very well. I mean, the, the timing on that was almost comical. Um, at least it will allow us to get some uh, claim on Coruscant and look into that way instead. National Epic. Spend even more admin points for yearly prestige. Probably worth it still, just to keep the prestige high. Um, we should... Send a guy over there just to make sure we don't drop below nine. Teutonic Order has reformed. Doesn't feel right. 
So Delhi is still an option though. Delhi, apparently we have good relations with Delhi. I, I di disagree. I do not think that is something. Jampur and Malwa here. Malwa doesn't have a great deal of troops. I think this is a good option as well. Um, what is a good option is that we actually do want a fort in our capital. We just realized. How's it going, Ottoman? Very, very slowly. Ugh. Tunis has it, so maybe the Ottoman can grab it from them, and then we can leech off the Ottoman. Yeah, we're no longer a great power, as is to be expected. Okay, to, oh, right, let's get a claim on you. <clears throat> Conquest against Corazan, very nice. Jamla, Jampur, and Kathmandu. I mean, that's also a pretty easy one. Uh, well, I say that, but we can't actually call anyone into that war, which is going to cause us a bit of an issue. Come on. Mamluks, Adam Medina, and Holmes. Yeah, we're, of course we're going to accept it. I mean... We do have rebellions. Garwali separatists coming soon. We are protected by a fort, so I feel confident in waiting a bit. If he wants to come here and start sieging me, then that's okay by me. We are just going to put defensive edict on there. And you can suffer as much as you want. Okay, we'll go for private tears. Military free policies. I wish I had one, but it is what it is. Come on, give me this. Thank you. So I need all of your land. We'll take all of your money as well and call it a day. And we will be calling these 124. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, let's see what we can do. Punjabi people are being assimilated, very good. How big are these armies? 8k in Garwal. Um, it's a hill fort. I think you'll probably be okay on your own there. Alright, as far as you're concerned, go wreck this army. I mean, he's going to run away, so... It's not particularly scary, but uh, recruitment time. It's particularly interesting, but I mean, we'll take it. Surmer is separatists. It's in Surmer, which is right next to it. So, in fact, um, let's actually stay there. Because, I mean, if they spawn on the fort, we'll have defenders of advantage regardless. So, coming in to defend here. Interesting. Well, he starts by rolling a 9. We're still winning. Okay, that's technically more than he did, but not amazing. That's better. Stop rolling a 2. Alright. We do have Mamluks here as well. I think we're not going to go on the offensive here. Well, we can stack wipe this tiny army at least. And then we're just going to pull back. We have enough anywhere. I don't want to lose attrition for no... Okay, 29 over there. Yeah, let's just go back there. Okay. I think you can beat 8k. Especially if we got you helping out. Okay, good job. Then it's the Surmer ones. Well, we have him coming up here again. Um. Alright, minus 20%. That is kind of severe. 
Well, I guess we have to go and scare Hormuz off again. At least we have the manpower here. Ooh, yes. Okay, he's running away. And uh, we can get some of that. Are we catching anything? No. All right. Let's just pull back. I mean, if he wants to stay here and just lose a bunch of attrition, then I'm fine with that. But until we have these 40k on our borders, I don't want to go in and actually fight it myself. Um, we'll hold up on the D8 until we can, until we are peaced out. Okay, good job, Ottoman. Oh, collapse of the Mamluk Sultanate. Well, that is you taken care of. Uh, I think we only have one more innovative idea left, right? No, there's two of them. All right. Do we dare go and actually start sieging something? I don't know. I am a bit... Oh, we have some filthy mamluks up here. Um, let's go and scare them off at least. Improve relations guy, sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Ottomans can deal with this on their own, so... Let's just actually scare this guy off completely. Loan offer. We don't need a loan. We got plenty of money. Okay, very good. National tax mod modifier plus 15% is going to help, especially considering we are... Uh, well, we got that event with minus 20% tax, so this will certainly make it easier. All right, let's go and get some occupations going on Hormuz, and we'll see. Why are you... Um... Let's just make sure you go to port during war. So that is not what I had intended. Now, we don't have any claims on you. Do you have any claims? Do you have a core down here? Interesting. Could potentially see whether um, he'll want to give us that core. Let's occupy it and see. Sure, we can have military access. Um, so we'll give this one to Timmy. Let's move over and start sieging down the fort. Or if you want to siege down the fort, that's even better. I'll just send some cannons over. that one as well I mean he may not be interested in it but uh, there's a lot of Mamluks and Hormuzians coming this way though Church of Great Britain let's push you down there we don't suffer attrition. Okay, all good. Uh, looks like Mamlux just teched up. They are now 1099. We are 10910. 81010. How are we looking? Okay, Tunis has it. Ottomans is still not willing to invest any money to get it. It's okay though. 45%. Hormuz is still on high. I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. 
Jesus Christ, there's a lot of Ottomanians coming through here. And he's got a murder stack ready to beat the snot out of these ones as well. That is looking less good. Um, luckily, Timmy can't peace out on his own, so he's kind of stuck in this war regardless. Um, I do not approve of that, though. Um, but I don't know where... Yeah, we got an army there, so I can't really run away right now. That's okay, though. Um, in any case, I am going to call this an episode here. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.